Hello and welcome back to Planning with Jamie. If you're new here, thank you so much for clicking on this video. Today I'm going to get vulnerable with you guys and I am going to show you guys my January currently. I have before pictures on here and also just some like feelings I end up filling out. So um, be gentle on me, but I want to encourage you guys, let me get to it here. I want to encourage you guys to do these currently ones. So I didn't start doing currently ones until, um, I don't know, I think the middle, I barely did them last year. I only did a handful of them and I wish I would have done more of them. So I'm really encouraging myself to do it for this time. All right. So this is my beginning photo and this is hard to share on the internet. Like, I don't know. It's not something I typically would do, but like I said, I want to be a cheerleader for you guys and encourage you guys. So this was on January 9th of 2023. I did different angles. And here's the thing, guys. I know how much my body can change with working out and dieting. And I did it last year and I did awesome. So I want to get back to it. So here's some thoughts for the year. I want to be more active, have less pain, get diet under control, be stronger, healthier gut health, and more energy. Like those are my focuses. You can see nowhere in there did I write, I want to be a size two or anything like that. Like these are lifestyle things that I want changed. All right, so it says make it happen. My starting weight was 207.8, even though in the next day it was like 208.4. So I did go up a little bit. Um, I'm working on this. I, I'm I'm doing some. All right, and then I put like what my stuff was. So size 18 jeans, size extra large to extra extra large shirts, and then my bra size, I didn't write in there yet. I'm pretty sure it's a 36 double D but I have to double check it before I actually write it down. And then this is the part I really like too. So over here, I like to write for my progress, like my non-scale victories. And then over here, it says how I'm strengthening my mind, how I'm strengthening my body and what I'm loving about myself. And these were very eye-opening when I ended up doing my 2022 fitness flip through for you guys. If you haven't watched that, I'll have it linked up above and down below, but watch that because... I don't know, it helped me get back on the bandwagon. So how I'm strengthening my mind, I am focusing, and I have this up so that you see how the light glares, I have it up so that you guys can see it a little bit better. So I'm focusing on myself in 2023 again. I did good on this from June of 2021 through July of 2022, and then I fell off the wagon. I want to be my best self for my family. I want to be organized and prepared for daily life. I am doing reading and my hobby of planning. I also need to learn to relax, turn everything off for 10 minutes daily. So this is all mental. What is it doing for me? And you could tell not all of it is all about weight loss. It's not. It's about the lifestyle, you guys. All right, down here we have how I'm strengthening my body. This says little by little, and then you are strong, brave, capable, creative, and ready. I like those two stickers. I thought they were cute. All right, I miss working out so much. There's so much truth in that. Oh my gosh. I, in fact, I'm going to highlight that because there's that much truth in it. I miss working out so much. Um... And then up here, I think the strongest thing was I want to be my best self for my family. So much truth in that too. Like those, those are my whys and you've got to remember your whys to keep motivated. All right. I miss working out so much. I miss the progress I made physically the beginning of last year. I know I can feel better than I do now and I want that. Jeremy bought me my Bowflex Select Tech 552 dumbbells for Christmas this year. I have to work my way up on weights again. I renewed my Beachbody membership again. So those are ways that I'm working towards um, being able to strengthen 
and everything. And then what I am loving about myself, I love how dedicated I am to my kids and husband. I love that I am creative. I love that my body blessed Rem and I with four beautiful kids and I want strength and health also. I love that I am making myself accountable for my health and happiness. 2023 will be my year. All right picking out one thing out of there and it is I love that I am making myself accountable for my health and happiness so much truth right there and then for 2023 will be my year I'm also going to highlight that so that it really pops out because it will all right, so that is that one. And I think let's go ahead and flip to February and do that one. And that way it's all ready to go. All right, for February, I think we're gonna go pretty pretty. And I really love that I put a photo in there. And so I think down here will probably be my photo area. And then I want to make sure to leave writing space. This is the fun florals. And these are just so cute. I think this will be enough for everything, I like to end up covering the page really, really well. And then some washi tape, I'll have to pick out. Some of these stickers never love to get off the backing and that is so, it could be so frustrating. All right, there's that. And then if I put my photo, I'll need just a little one down here. Here. And let me grab my washi real quick. All right, these are some really bold washies, but I think they're going to be really, really cute also. And so we're going to do pink, purple, pink. I don't know. I can do another purple, can I? Let me see if I have a fat purple. Actually, I'm going to go even skinnier up there just because we have all this. Okay. So let's get our washi in there. So currently pages, also in my big vertical catch-all, I haven't been doing my currently pages and I did one this month and it was fun, you guys. <laughs> and so I think that's gonna be a new thing. I already did my February for that and so I won't be able to do that with you guys, but maybe in the future, like for March, I will. All right, there's that one. There's that one. Do we want purple? I think I might do two purples in the middle and then do this one up here. And I know I'm gonna have to cut around right there that's fine. Actually, let's do, so I'm gonna slice it so that I can get it coming up some and see where the edge of my wording is. So you can see where the edge is. And then uh, let's go this way up here. And the same over here. And then, um, yeah, I want progress to show because these are my non-scale victories and I really enjoy writing those in. Like when I looked back in my 2022, those were kind of my favorite ones actually to look at. And then we have the heart one we're gonna do right here. Okay, these are cute, loving it. Now let's put some more stickers down. Do we want them to go over the washi? 
I don't think so. Here we go. And then down here, let's do, well, we have a big bouquet right there already. Let's do a purple down there. If it will come up without the backing, that's the only bad thing about clear stickers is they can be so hard. There we go. Maybe I need to start using my like X-Acto knife or my tweezers on it. I think this one we're gonna put, we don't need important dates because that's gonna be my photo. Let's put this one towards down here. And then over here, let's get bold. pink one that way wherever the photo is like it'll all be covered up and I'm gonna leave the green on that one so that's cute and then up here I wish they had just a blue do we nope that's not my only page I do have like the mega sticker book which would have more of these but I feel like we don't need it for this And this one's a little bigger. This is for that top right corner. There, and then I kind of like that. I like the simplicity of it, but I am thinking of doing a gold stripe right down the middle. All right. Not cutting all this stuff off quite yet. Actually, let's put it that way so I can really see what I'm doing. I love me some gold in my planner. I don't know why, because it's it's hard to photograph. So I don't know why I love it so much, but I do. It just makes it so feminine and so beautiful. There we go. And then we're going to have to let the pretty flowers poke through right there. And we just need a little bit more here. All right. Let's cut off any edging here. This pink one we could probably reuse because that's a pretty substantial amount of pink. And then here, I think I want some pink like bullet points. There we go. Bullet points, what book? I got this goal setting one and I swear it has bullet points, but are they the right? Oh yeah, they could be the right color. There's a lot of them here. There are some hearts too. Do we do we want to do hearts or bullet points? These hearts are cute. There we go. Let's do or let's do some gold stars. That'll be even cuter. And I don't know how many I'm gonna have, but we are gonna lay them down so that I can think of all the positives that have happened for this month. So these will be January's non-scale vic victories um, because I fill this out at the beginning of the month. And then I'll probably print out a little thing that says non-scale victory for right there. All right, let's get our planner back out and get this back in there. Ooh, look how it pops. Whoops, 
One more thing, we went over a few of them, so we're gonna get out the We Are Memory Keepers hole punch, and we are going to punch the ones that we ended up going over. Dun, 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 this one. And this one. And then this one. All right. Get them in there. But I love actually that we pulled like a little blue in here because this blue like just really works with these colors. All right. There you go. This is going to be my February um, currently page for in my fitness planner. Like I showed you how I ended up doing for the January one. And now that I see this too, I mean, this says January 9th. Maybe that's the way I'll end up labeling it. That is January of 2023. And then when I put in my photo, I'll kind of do it again so that it's labeled as February of 2023. So, all right, give this video a big thumbs up. Also make sure that subscribe button is pushed. I hope you guys are doing very well on your journey and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.